Evolution is a branch of biology which deals with changes in the heritable characteristics of biological population over uh, successive generations. So that is a study of a process just may ek generation uh, it passes its uh, uh, physical phenotypical characteristics and genotypical characteristics to the next generation and with the passage of the time jaise aise ek environment change hota jata hai environmental demands change hona shuru hoti hain so these um, plants and animals or the organisms they also change themselves both their phenotype and their genotype so this this is the process of a uh, continuous process of changes which is known as the evolution and those characteristics which are transferred from one generation to an other generation that is uh, ex uh, expression of genes so genes are a major component which is responsible for transfer of these characteristics from one generation to the other generation so these variations uh, which are uh, coming in these uh, genes and it is happening as a result of evolution that is responsible for variations and responsible for different varieties appearance of new species and enhancing the biodiversity in that environment so evolution is uh, such an old uh, subject aur bahut hi ek uh, qadeem zamane se is uh, subject ke upar ek discussion hoti rahi hai aur iska ek सब्जेक्ट का एक अपना एवोल्यूशन जो है वो कंटिन्यूड रहे सो दिस दिस डिफरेंट इराज ऑफ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इट कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू फाइव डिफरेंट स्टेजेस और फाइव डिफरेंट टाइम फेजेस वन इज क्लासिकल मिडिवियल प्री डार्विनियन पीरियड एंड देन डार्विनियन पीरियड और डार्विनियन रेवोल्यूशन एंड देन देर इज अ मॉडर्न सिंथेसिस सो विल स्टडी दीज डिफरेंट फेजेज टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सब्जेक्ट ग्रेजुअली so the first phase of uh, history of evolution that was classical and it was that time period jab uh, scientist or philosophers they uh, used to believe more in their thoughts and wisdom as compared to experiments aur mostly wo time period hai jispe ek ek greek aur roman philosophers jo hain wo hame bahut zyada prominently active nazar aate hain so in uh, during that time period it was considered that all living things they are related to each other और ये समझा जाता था कि ये एक टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म इट कुड डिसेंड फ्रॉम द अदर टाइप ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म सो देर वाज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्पीशीज देर वाज नो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जीन्स और जीनोटाइप और द ट्रांसफर ऑफ करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इट वाज कंसिडर्ड कि कोई भी ऐसा ऑर्गेनिज्म जो कि डिफरेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स रखता है ये किसी भी और डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म से इवॉल्व हो सकता है so uh, that was the time period which was uh, mostly uh, dominated by uh, lucretius he was the one philosopher so that classical time period was followed by the medieval time period and during that period again abhi tak experiment jo hai wo uh, science ki uh, world mein enter nahi ho saka still the philosophers they are uh, thinking and discussing about the different phenomena and then they brought a theory of fixed natural possibilities then they believed ke wo sari uh, organisms wo sare uh, plants aur uh, la, la, earth ke apne features jo ke is waqt maujood hain ye hamesha se jab se earth ki uh, formation hui hai us din se lekar ab tak inme koi bhi tabdili nahi aayi and they are totally fixed so these life forms were considered fixed but aristotle uh, he added a little bit uh, modification in that theory of uh, fixation and he said that new type of living things uh, there is possibility that they come to be so he that was uh, the medieval period which was followed by pre darwinian period and the pre darwinian period here now uh, evolutionist or scientist they start uh, looking for different evidences which are uh, more scientific which are more logical and then they started introducing and performing different experiments as well so the pre darwinian period it began in 17th century and it explain ke wo sare natural phenomena jo ke hamare uh, environment mein ho rahe hain they are uh, actually controlled by different physical laws so now the, uh, the the thought of a scientist is more logical john ray he introduced the term species which is the basic uh, term in uh, study of evolution and then in 1970 uh, in 1735 linnaeus was uh, a very prominent taxonomist 
and he explicitly recognized the hierarchical nature of different species so he recognized that there is a group of organisms which is comparatively simple and then there is an other group which is more complex and then more complex so he understood that hierarchy and he introduced the five kingdom system and we are very much familiar with the, the lineage classification of five kingdom system which include uh, the kingdom monera protista planti animalia and these are uh, that is the beginning of uh, the modern taxonomy during this period buffon was uh, an other evolutionist who suggested that species could degenerate into different organism so he uh, primitively gave the concept of divergent evolution from a common ancestry there could be occurrence of different types of species which have dissimilarities from each other and at the same time there was uh, an other evolutionist erasmus darwin and he proposed that all the warm blooded animals they could have descended from a single microorganism so he proposed an initial or primitive concept of organic evolution you see pre darwinian time period mein sabse pehli evolutionary scheme that was uh, proposed by john baptist lamarck so he proposed the first theory of evolution jise ke hum lamarckism kehte hain ya usko hum uh, theory of or inheritance of acquired characters ka bhi naam diya jata hai so he proposed ke uh, this is a theory of uh, uh, changes and mutations which are acquired during the life it can be transferred to the offspring but uh, this theory it faced um, a lot of resistance and then uh, different scientists jo ke uh, lamarck ke hi follower the they uh, did certain experiments and they proved that lamarck lamarckism uh, this theory of acquired characters uh, it is not really um appreciable or it doesn't have a solid background so it was rejected later on darwinian time period or darwinian revolution that was the most remarkable time period in the history of evolution malthus was a prominent figure during this period 1798 and he proposed that population growth creates a struggle for resources so if the population size is growing it is increasing the members of that population are competing for available resources and this theory of malthus is uh, motivated darwin to propose his ground breaking theory of natural selection in 1859 so we will study uh, these two theories in future modules darwin's theory that was uh, followed and it was further um, refined and explained by the follower evolutionist for example the hogsley he applied uh, the concepts given by the darwin to the humans and he used uh, paleontology and comparative anatomy as evidences to study the evolution and we are all familiar with the a big name uh, which is gregor mendel he is considered as uh, the father of genetics so he proposed his laws of genetics by performing very long um, experimentation in 1865 and we are familiar with these two laws the law of segregation and the law of independent assortment so that was a real breakthrough in the history of evolution when it was declared that the genes are responsible for transferring characteristics of one species or from the parents to its offspring august wiesmann uh, also played an important role and he performed a series of experiments and he proved uh, that the germ cells are responsible for transfer of characters from parents to offspring and he demonstrated that only the germ line is responsible for inheritance deveries was an other scientist who proposed that heritable heritable material it is present in the nucleus and it can be transferred to the cytoplasm so at that time dna was not identified but deveries uh, proposed a clue or uh, he proposed a theory which led towards uh, discovery of dna in future modern synthesis it started uh, after uh, the the darwin period because now uh, science has uh, developed a lot there were the modern technologies there were the modern machines and equipment 
and there were a more awareness about the scientific concepts so this era is known as the modern synthesis and we are uh, in this era as well so it is connected to uh, natural selection and the population genetics and the mendelian genetics and they they made uh, the laws and the theories which are the basis of evolution uh, nowadays and during that time watson and crick they also proposed their model of dna in 1953 which was um, a, a breakthrough in this history because dna is that material which is responsible for bringing the changes which is responsible for transferring characters from parents to the next generation this study of evolution uh, is based upon different types of evidences and these evidences are of four different categories biogeography paleontology comparative anatomy and molecular biology we will study these evidences one by one 